Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond. So I want to show you this morning, before sunrise, uh, the temperature difference, dramatic temperature difference between different paved and unpaved surfaces in the urban environment. And once you're aware of this, you can make very conscious choices that will help you either cool down or unfortunately heat up our already hot uh, urban environment in these hot summer months. Okay, on a summer morning before the sun has risen, let's look at the temperature difference when it's 80 degrees outside between this rain garden, this traffic calming rain garden, uh, and the street. Okay, I got this here infrared thermometer. So, 87, 88 degrees uh, on the black asphalt street. And then we get into the chicane, 76 degrees. Okay, so we've got a 12 degree difference. This is hotter than ambient temperature. This is cooler than ambient temperature. This is heating us all night long. This is cooling us all night long and into the day as well. Well, I know what I prefer, this sweet stuff. Check out my books, Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond, for more strategies on how you do this to enhance the environment for all of us. 59 degrees on this black asphalt. And then let's look right next to that. We've got this uh, concrete driveway and the temperature of the concrete is similarly 88, 89 degrees. And then right next to that, let's look at this uh, dirt walkway. And temperature there, 79 degrees. So basically ambient temperature. So um, this is why I do not want to pave any areas not needing pavement, uh, you know, pavement with a high mass surface like concrete or asphalt, because it absorbs the sun's heat like a battery during the day and then radiates it out at night. So all night long, these paved surfaces are radiating more heat into our nighttime environment, heating us up even more, making for uncomfortable nights of sleep. So that's why instead of a paved pathway, I prefer a dirt pathway, because that does not heat us up. And when it rains, the water can more easily infiltrate instead of drain away and dehydrate us. Let's collaborate with living systems and what we already have freely at hand.